Welcome to Summon Awesome Films, I'm Rob. We're gonna fight the Scornet Maestro, which is actually one of the easiest bosses to fight. Uh, there's no real quicker way to like rush through this one. You kind of just have to go with the flow. Uh, flying Pikmin are essential to this. If you don't have Flying Pikmin, if they die somehow, then you're gonna be in, you're gonna be in a bit of a trouble. Uh, so first things first, let's get our other captains to start collecting up. Uh, these rock Pikmin and the red Pikmin because they're a little stronger than the flying ones. We have flying ones We can use the flying Pikmin to knock him down. We have enough of them uh, And the red ones and the rock ones are stronger So when he is down we can do more damage in the hopes of getting him killed a little bit quicker than you would uh, So right now he's setting out. We got a bit of a couple of our Pikmin there But the way to avoid that is just run under him when he aims just run under him and you clear it up then charge your Pikmin at him the flying ones will fly up, knock him down. Then you want to call your other Pikmin that are on the ground and charge them at him. So make sure you're locked onto him. Uh, when your Pikmin, if they've been caught by these little Hornet dudes, what you're going to do is you're going to want to throw either your flying ones at them. Flying ones are preferred, or you can just throw your normal ones at, at them and knock them down and save the Pikmin that have been caught. Alright, so now we're going to gather up all our Pikmin. He's going to attack us again by doing the same thing. So I'll show you how to avoid it. The easiest way get her plucking Pikmin because why not uh, so he's gonna make like a little cone here uh, you're gonna want to run under it so stay under his shadow here and that's the easiest way to avoid that without getting in too much trouble uh, you can charge him now um, when his little his enemies are flying out but I recommend against that because you won't actually knock him down he'll just kind of shake him off uh, so wait until all his little flying dudes are gone and then shake him and bring him to the ground. So we're halfway done. We're just gonna do this two more times and we should kill him. Uh, maybe a third time if we're unlucky and haven't done that much damage. But now he should uh, present like a wall kind of thing. Uh, the easiest way to avoid this one is just gonna wait still for a bit. Uh, and then when he starts setting his, his uh, little hornets at us, we're gonna run at them. So you'll see that we start going forward and that kind of avoids them. So that's the easiest way to avoid them. Once again, lock on, send your Pikmin at him, attack him, shazam, easy. Uh, now the third, or I mean the fourth and final attack he's going to do, he's going to circle our men and start, uh, he's going to keep us locked in, which can be a bit of a tricky one to get out of. So we're going to have to time this right. Once we see his men, uh, his little hornet men, uh, coming to attack us, we're going to attack him. So we've got him locked on. We're going to wait. They're coming for us. We're going to charge him. Our flying Pikmin will attack him and uh, should hopefully, if we're lucky, knock him down. If not, we'll just charge him again, uh, gather up our Pikmin on the ground and start attacking the actual wall like the circle around us. And that'll get him. We'll lose a few, sure. Not the best way to do it, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's the final wave, so as long as you get him on the ground, he should die. So it doesn't matter if your Pikmin get taken away. They're, gonna, they're not going to die. It doesn't matter. They're fine. Uh, but there, he's dead. We've defeated the Scornet Maestro in uh, under three minutes, I would say, which should be a good, easy platinum medal. As long as you get him in his four attacks, you should get the platinum. Two minutes, 51. Easy. Done. Platinum medal. Go out there, captains, and kick some uh, Scornet butt.